Hey guys, John here. Um, this is another episode of Vault of the Dungeon Master where I ramble on about gaming, gaming stuff and ideas and concepts and yeah. You got the gist. Oh, excuse me. So anyway, I was watching um, Tim, uh, Sam my 7 RPG the other day and he was talking and um, he did a thing about um, uh, creation of campaign worlds. He, he kind of wanted us to submit. Or, um, he had a very um, good one. Uh, I will probably put a link to that in the description. This is very good. He did a very good job narr narrating it as he normally does. Um, it's kind of got me thinking because I have been um, reworking my campaign world for a while now. And And I, oh, I make noise. Anyway, and this video of world creation, of world creation, got me thinking about my world and kind of the creation of my world. And I came up with for my world that my campaign world was kind of created by accident, or what is perceived as an accident. It's basically that a ripple in the multiverse occurred that for a brief second collided all the worlds. And then, and took chunks and bits and pieces from that world, and took them out and put it on this, on this new world. So, you know, you have people, monsters, you know, creatures, dungeons, towns, you know, whatever. And I, I thought this was a really interesting idea, and I kind of rolled with it for my campaign world because I've always been a big fan of using stuff from established settings, you know, like taking the Warforce from Aberron or Dragonians, Dragonlance, or using, or you know what I do mainly is I take the gods from all the different settings and I throw them all my world. It's like, yeah, they're here. And I finally kind of came up with, through this creation cycle, a reason for that to be. For because this world was created by accident, okay, the gods, first of all, do they first try removing their people they, and destroying the world. Well, they can't remove the people and they can't destroy the world. Um, so, this puzzles the gods, and they're like, okay, we'll watch to see how this plays out. And then, and they leave, you know, select a group of gods in charge of the higher, of the higher gods. And blah, blah, blah. the other gods still have a presence. They just have, you know, they're watch, they're watchmen, as it were. So yeah, it's a cool idea. Um, I like it a lot that I'm going to roll with it for this, for, for this iteration of my campaign setting. I find it cool. I'm now calling my fantasy world a mismatched campaign setting. And I think it's cool, and it's a good way of explaining stuff that I've always wanted to do, that I've, that I've just always liked in D&D, because I've never liked, like, I've never liked Dragonlance, where it's like, oh, Kendra are exclusive to Dragonlance. You cannot have a Kendra outside Dragonlance. Bullshit. If, you know, if I will it, uh, if I want a Kendra, yeah, I'm going to have a Kendra. Or if my player wants to play again, I'm going to let him play again. I don't know what player wants to play a Kender, but hey, it happens. I don't know, I just kind of, it's an interesting concept for a world creation, and it kind of goes back to a game I played a couple, I started playing a couple months ago before I moved to college, where I was, we were, we were first level characters, but we could come from any world. So, naturally I chose to be a dwarf from Dark Sun, but that's, That's a different story. So anyway, yeah, that's my campaign creation world idea video. And yeah, um, I want to hear your thoughts on that, that, kind of what your thoughts about this idea are. I'd like to hear your thoughts of world creation and just campaign building in general. I'd love to hear them. 
Um, I'm thinking this might be kind of a little subset of videos while I do this, because I know campaign building is a form that's talked about a lot here on YouTube in the RPG community. So anyway, as always, I'm John, friendly neighborhood dungeon master. This concludes another episode of Vault of the Dungeon Master, and happy gaming.